everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here if you are new here hey what's up my name's danny and i'm starting a weekend in my life right now i have a feeling this is gonna be a really really good weekend especially because i get to celebrate two of my favorite people and i'm just really excited to take you guys along right now it's friday morning i don't have work today which is wonderful so i started off my day by going for a walk put on a little fit that makes me feel good and now i'm heading over to meet madeline my roommate at a coffee shop so let's go for those of you who are fans of the show Friends, I actually didn't know this until one of you guys told me, but right here on the corner of Bedford and Grove is the Friends apartment, right above the Little Owl. And this just so happens to be one of my favorite streets in the city right now. It's so beautiful. Right, right now I'm on Hudson, and the other day I was walking down the street and I saw Seth Meyers just casually coming back from a jog. And it took me a second to realize who it was, but I was like, holy shit, I watched that man on TV. Very interesting. Like, how is this my life right now? I don't understand. Holy shit, I sat at that coffee shop for a little bit. I was there for probably like an hour and a half and I got some work done, more so YouTube work than actual work. And now I'm taking a walk on the West Side Highway, as I do. This is 100% my favorite place in the city. I spend most of my time on the West Side Highway, for being totally honest, and it's a beautiful day. So I want to spend as much time as possible outside. I actually played tennis on these courts the other day with Madeline and it was so much fun. I'll insert that footage right now. how much I love my spontaneous decisions. I've spoken about this in so many videos. I love last minute plans because I find that sometimes they're the best plans. All of my friends were planning on going to the Chris Lake concert tonight and I didn't have a ticket. I didn't really have any desire to go. But then once I saw everybody getting dressed and all that stuff, I was like, I want to do something tonight. So I reached out to everybody I could found a ticket for $60 and I'm going to see Chris Lake. I am putting this Aritzia tennis skirt to some use because quite frankly it doesn't even really look like a tennis skirt and it has a much better material for going out and getting drinks spilled all over you. So I'm wearing this tank top from Urban Outfitters. My skirt is obviously Aritzia and then I'm wearing my Doc Martens. <laughs> Last night was so much fun. I had never been to an EDM concert before, so honestly, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but I had such a good time. It was definitely crowded and sweaty and impossible to find people, but it was such a good night. Money well spent, 100%. I'm so happy that I went, and today's gonna be another very fun day. I'm literally running on like five hours of sleep, but it's fine, because it's necessary. Um, today, we are celebrating my best friend, Amanda, and Steph. Um, Steph's birthday was yesterday and then amanda's birthday is on tuesday so they decided to do a little like joint birthday thing today and it's gonna be so much fun i actually think people are gonna start coming over at 12 and right now it's 11 35 so i definitely have to continue getting ready i already ate some breakfast definitely need to get myself a coffee and we should be good i don't know what to do now need to figure it out but i don't know how And take me away to where I should be photo shoot with my friend Shelly and I am so excited. It's been such a long time since we've shot together or even since I've seen her. 
I think it's been since like December since I've seen her and if you guys follow me on Instagram and you see any professional photos on there odds are they were taken by her she's so incredibly talented I'll have all of her links down below but she reached out to me the other day and she was like I have a concept are you interested we can do a shoot on your roof and we can bring props and all that fun stuff and of course I'm always down so I said yes and we were able to make it work for today so I'm getting ready for that now she honestly will probably be here within the next 20 ish minutes so I gotta go fast but I'm trying to recreate how I did my makeup last night because last night I went out to get drinks and I really liked how my makeup looked so we're gonna try and recreate it don't know how close I'm gonna get but a girl can try the outfit that I'm planning on wearing today is the green dress that I showed in my birthday vlog but I'm kind of winging it because I haven't even tried on the dress obviously Zara fitting rooms are always closed and I just kind of forgot to try it on once I brought it home. So we're gonna just hope that it fits. I can't imagine that it wouldn't, but I guess we're gonna see it together. And if not, we're gonna have to improvise. <laughs> Shelly's here, say hello. And we have declared that this theme of the shoot is main character. Cause that's exactly what I felt like. I was like, she's like, oh, drape your body like over the side of the building, say less. And the pictures look unbelievable. Follow me on Instagram and you'll see them. It's like next level. All right, ladies and gents, we wrapped up that shoot. Shelly is still here. We're gonna go grab some food and some drinks. Did a quick little change so I didn't look like I was part of a bridal party when I'm going out on a casual Thursday evening. But this is the look. Just throw on this dress from Zara and some sneakers and we're gonna try and find a place to sit. I love how quickly things can change. Within the past, ooh, there's gonna be a day in Within the past like 20 minutes, all of my plans for the night have changed. I went and got drinks with Shelly, which was so much fun. I love catching up with her so much. And in the middle of dinner, my dress broke. So now we're working with one strap instead of two. And while I was at dinner, my friend Evan texted me and he was like, we're all going to Kind Regards. Do you want to come? I was like, sure, why not? So I'm on my way to Kind Regards. I'm going by myself. So that's definitely going to be interesting. And I trust myself to be able to make friends and have a good time by myself until I see them. It's gonna be a good night. This video really is one big compilation of a bunch of days that I decided to do fun shit. I hope that's okay with you guys. But today is Friday and my company is nice enough to give us summer Fridays if we're able to finish our work in time. So I was able to wrap up everything that I needed to do today and now it's around 2.30. So I am getting ready to log off and I have quite a few errands that I wanna run today. I I'm happy with how my room looks, but not totally content. There's still a few things that I've been putting off like crazy, and I want to try and get a few of those things done today. So I just changed into a little outfit because I was kind of in the mood to like how I look, I guess. And we're gonna run out, grab some coffee and some breakfast, and then run some errands. After weeks of it doing literally nothing but raining in New York City, we are finally getting the weather that we deserve. It's so beautiful. It's like the perfect day to take a walk. I've also realized two other things. One, since moving here, I don't think I've had my normal voice at all. I lost my voice the first weekend that I moved here, and then ever since then, it's just been gone. And two, my priorities shifted very quickly the second I left the house. I at first was gonna go and run errands, and now I'm halfway to Soho, and I'm Maybe you're gonna do some shopping. I literally just came to h and and saw this dress and realized that this is what I wished I was wearing right now. So I tried it on and I love it. It's like super simple. So I'm gonna buy it and then come back and just switch my outfit. Holy shit. 
I was about to film a clip and be like, oh, every time I come downtown, like I go to Soho, I end up seeing some sort of B-list celebrity. And right as I'm about to film that clip, Shawn Mendes walked by me. And me and all the girls that were like around me, we froze, we looked at each other, we're like, did that actually just happen? I'm like in shock. He is gorgeous in person. And just, I, well, okay, the whole reason I was gonna say B-list celebrity is because the last time I was in Soho with Madeline, we saw Sabrina Carpenter like three different times. Felt like every single place that we went to, she was right there with us. And I also saw a TikToker when I was there before. So I was just gonna say like, you know, smaller celebrities. And then Shawn Mendes walked by me. Like, and on that note, I can go home. I feel like I've had a fully accomplished day at this point. I'm just mad that he was walking by me so I couldn't ask for a picture. Like, so many regrets. After all of that, I officially made it home in my new dress that I love so much. This thing was literally $12. It was $12 well spent. I feel like it fits really well and I felt a lot more confident wearing this than what I was wearing earlier. But I did end up making one of my errand stops. I didn't think I was actually going to, but I did. And I picked up command hooks and I finally hung my bags right here. They were, I mean, all this time sitting right here on the floor and it just looked really cluttered. I barely have enough space in this room as is, so I would like to be able to utilize as, as much floor space as I can. So I hung these two bags and then in them I have all of my smaller purses. So it's just kind of storage within storage and I think it looks really good. <laughs> that I've learned recently. These aren't all serious or have all that much deep meaning across the board. I guess a few of them do, but I thought it would be kind of fun to share. There's somebody that I follow on Instagram. Her username is Life of RGR, and she does this sometimes on her stories where it's essentially just a stream of consciousness. She'll share things that have come to her mind, and this is my little version of that. I feel like most of these speak for themselves, but I might do a little bit of elaborating just because I'm in the mood to chat. The first thing that I've learned recently is that being bold can get you very far. I've spoken about this in multiple videos because it's kind of just how I am at this point, but I genuinely believe that being bold is a win-win situation because you are either successfully going up to somebody that you are interested in and it working out, or you're going up to somebody that you're interested in, they don't reciprocate, and then you weed out somebody that you know isn't for you. It's really a win-win situation, and there's really no failure intertwined in there because at the end of the day, this person's opinion of you means absolutely Number two, late night pizza is always a good idea. Even if you're not hungry, even if you're leaving the bar and you wanna go home, if your friends wanna go get pizza, go with them because it is almost always an amazing bonding experience at the very least. Appreciate the inclusive people in your life and strive to be more like them every single day. I am very lucky to be surrounded by quite a few very inclusive people and they have definitely inspired me to continue working towards being exactly that way. I guess we can do shout outs because I know that they'll appreciate it. Amanda, my roommate and also my best friend is without a doubt one of the most inclusive people I've ever met and I've met some of my current favorite people through her. So I'm just so beyond appreciative and my friend Evan who I hung out with for the first time in a while the other day and this boy just always is reaching out to me and being like I want to hang out with you I want you to hang out with me and my friends it is the best feeling in the world and I will continue to make an effort to be exactly like them. New York City is big but not nearly big enough. I have found myself in the most unusual situations recently where I can't even elaborate on it like I just weird situations people that you think you would never in your life see just happen to pop up in these strangest of places multiple times I just you can't get away from anybody in the city I'm convinced standing your ground and sticking up for yourself is a form of self-care and not only that but it is one of the most important forms of self-care and you should never let anybody make you feel bad for prioritizing those two things. I firmly believe that having a good walking playlist is the key to living a confident life. I 
would like to consider myself to be a very confident person and I genuinely believe that two of the main factors to me being the way that I am is constantly dressing for success even if that means like a sweat set if I feel confident in that sweat set it means I'm dressing for success and having a good walking playlist when I go for my walks in the morning to go get coffee I am almost always listening to like just this music that makes me feel really confident point blank period so if you guys want my playlist I'll have it like linked down below but I encourage you to make your own because it's a lot of fun it is very evident from this vlog that I do this one quite often and I think I live a better life for it and that is to always say yes to spontaneous decisions even things that you think you're too tired to do or you're not friends with everybody going say yes because more often than not spontaneous plans are the best plans and last but definitely not least say I love you to your friends and your family and the people that you love but they don't know that you love them sincerely and often because life can change really really fucking fast and it's scary and it's devastating but it's true and you don't want to live your life with any regrets god forbid anything were to happen so on that note i am going to end off this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure to let me know in the comments down below this was one of my favorite vlogs i've made in a while so if you like it and you watch this far share it with a friend please i have really really big goals for this channel and i'm working my ass off over here and i i think it'd be fun to grow this family as much as possible so with all that said i love you guys so much like so 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 much and i'll talk to you very soon in my next video bye